Young people in Singapore should come forward with constructive criticism and ideas instead of merely disagreeing with current policies. This was brought up by Major General Chan Chun Singh, Acting Minister for Community Development, Youth and Sports at the Young PAP political discussion on Saturday. One of the things that saddened me in the recent elections a lot is not because the youth are not participating. It saddens me a lot because the youth are participating but at the same time, the energy is not fully harnessed and utilised for a constructive way to bring the country forward. Many people get caught up in the heat of the moment with slogans, with attacking the government, attacking the opposition. I'm not impressed with either way. I want to know, after you have attacked, do you have a better idea to bring it forward? Not because you think so, not because ideologically you think so, you believe so, but because you really think that this is the best way forward. So you ask me, what is the role of youth in politics? My frank answer to you is, get to know the fundamentals of this country, think critically, ask yourself whether your ideas will help to bring this country forward, not just whether you agree or disagree with the current day policies. The theme for the session was the role of youths in politics, and Major General Chan started the session by listening to questions from the youths on topics such as leadership renewal, accountability, and transparency. It's just like now you walk down Shenton Way. You see a piece of rubbish. What's your first instinct? If you choose the first path, I see the rubbish, I pick it up, throw it away, end of the day, I move off. You have just demonstrated youth in action. You have taken charge of your destiny and controlled the environment. You have taken the second path of... What's the second path? second path is write a letter to the government. You have outsourced the problem away <laughs> to somebody else. It's like the Chinese say, this is society's fault, not my problem. It's the workers' fault. I pay my tax already. They should come and pick up the rubbish. Right? You have also do that. You have also expressed another form of behaviour. The third one, you take a storm, click the photograph, left it down there and go and post on the internet and run a campaign on how dirty Singapore is, also can. You're trying to get people to do confirmation bias. Huh? See, I found rubbish. Singapore must be dirty. Right? But the choice is ours. The two-hour session was attended by close to 200 youths, with some 120 from the young PAP. Speaking to the media after the session, Major General Chan gave his assessment of the dialogue. I think for the majority of them, they demonstrated passion. Passion for the country. And that bodes well, and as, as I was sharing with them, uh, so long as you have the passion for the country, so long as you believe in the country and you want to make the country a better one, then I think we are in good hands. Because we need all sorts of ideas. Having heard all the ideas, we need to debate those ideas and then find the best way forward for our country collectively. The young PAP political discussions are held once in every three months. Saturday's discussion with Major General Chan was the first since the recent general election.